Hey, look, it's Scott, who of course stars hey. in the fantastic Future Generations promotion on the BBC. Would you give him a round of applause? Yeah. Scott. He's so cool and so important that he's even in Terry Wogan's dressing room. And nobody gets to go in Terry Wogan's dressing room, and that's a very, very important thing. It's now, Terry Wogan. Uh, and again! Oh, you are so good. Uh, now, when you made you made the um, the promotion, which uh, who, out of all the t out of all the uh, children's programs, all the people you got to you got to meet Mr. Ben, Andy, Pandy, um, and Trude. And these a lot of those are the programs I used to watch when I was little, which obviously was a long time ago, as I look 48. <laughs> um, which was your favourite out of all the old programs that you got to see? Daleks. The Daleks. Were they scary? No. Not uh, scary at all. Not to you. And I've been told that you can actually do Pew Pew Barney McGrew. Yes, Go on, I can. Go on, everyone join in. Pew Pew, pew, pew Barney McGrew, McGrew cast the dibble and grub. Oh, he's so good. Yay! He's such a good Now, it must have taken a long time to make that project because there's a lot of work went involved. Um, how long did it take you to make it? Uh, ten days. Ten days. But it was only supposed to take how long? Seven. And he wasn't supposed to say that, apparently. They overrun a bit. Uh, but the good news is, is that when Scott was making the Future Generations promotion, he did make us a little behind-the-scenes film to show us exactly how it was done. And he's done a very good voiceover. Here we go. Here's your little film, Scott. Once upon a time, on a little island where it often rained, there was a broadcasting corporation who made a promotional film that's an advert celebrating 50 years of small people's television. They called it Future Generations. It stars a young chap called Scott Chisholm, that's me, who travels through time. That's really Miller. I get to meet lots of characters from the BBC. I'm a lucky chap, aren't I? Making Future Generations was a big challenge. It took three months to script and ten days to shoot. That's a lot of work for three minutes of film. Can you keep a secret? I didn't really meet Mr. Ben. I just walked in front of a screen. I had to pretend he was beside me. Later, Mr. Ben's image was beamed onto the background in an edit suite. These BBC boffins think of everything. We also recreated the famous Blue Peter episode when Lulu the Elephant did a whoopsie in the studio. Mm. Wake up, elephant! Our elephant wasn't real, and the presenters were all members of the film crew. Hello, I'm Valerie Singleton. Hello, I'm Peter Purvis. <laughs> Hello, and I'm John Noakes. The director replaced the original film with our reconstruction. We then turned the picture to black and white. And hey presto, I'm in 1960s Blue Peterland. There was lots of live action to keep me on my toes. Daleks from Doctor Who weren't scary. They were quite friendly, actually. What did you do to the Dalek? Oh, I did something I shouldn't have done. What? I exterminated everybody in the crew. Not me, though. No, not you. <laughs> everybody is it. I hope you've learned a little more about the job we had to do for small people. But before I go, I'll leave the last word to Zoe, what's her name? Well, didn't we turn out to be a nation of well-rounded individuals? Cheerio. Oh, Scott! That was a very good job you did there. It's very funny watching... How does it feel when you watch yourself on the television? Embarrassing. <laughs> Embarrassing? He was hiding, he was hiding behind. Uh, can you just tell us who these people are? Do you know who that is over there? Uh, yes. Who's that? Muffin. Muffin? Muffin yeah. the mule? Even I don't remember that one, even though I'm very old. And obviously this is Bill and Ben back here. Yeah. Andy Pandy. Do you know, when I was little I had an Andy Pandy outfit. I used to wear it to the supermarket. I know he thinks I'm crazy uh, already. No, that's fine, just knocked his head. Oh no, I've knocked Ted's head over. There we go. And Ermintude obviously here for no. classic roundabout. Oh, he's fallen over again. Look, look I'm, uh, sorry, I'll prop it back up. Uh, so will you stick around, Scott? Because you're very cool. We like you being on the show. And will you come and be in Hit Me So Maybe with me later on? Look at the videos. Yeah. Tell us what you think. Yes, they'll do it. Now, I know there's one person you want to meet here this morning, isn't there? Mr. Blobby. Mr. Blobby. Well, there's been a few problems with parking at the BBC this morning, but here he is. Come on, we'll go meet Mr. Blobby.